minds have been running all over the place today. So give them a place to settle down. This is a little samsara, just running around, running around. And then when you settle down, it's hard to stay, stay put because you're so used to the momentum of running around. But you've got to remind yourself, this is where the suffering is, it's in the wandering on. So give the mind a good place to stay, by the way you breathe, by the way you think. We think we're so good at thinking, and yet we think in a lot of ways that cause us suffering. You've got to figure out what you're holding on to that's causing the suffering. And ask yourself, why hold on to that? You could be thinking all kinds of things. The problem is the mind gets in its ruts. It's like those deer up in the northern forests. When the snow falls, they make a track through the snow. And as the snow gets deeper and deeper, they keep following the same old track, the same old track, same old track. And all the bark and all the leaves and everything that were on the trees get stripped off. And if it, there can be bark just a few feet away from the, the trail that they've made for themselves. But they can't reach it. And many times they'll die just because they follow their old pathways. So ask yourself, what path are you following? As the Buddha said, he looks at the world and he sees people following different paths. There's the path that's going to Nirvana, there's a path that goes to the heavenly world, the path that goes to the human world, the lower worlds. And the paths are not marked with a sign saying, this is where you're going. It's good that we have a Buddha to give us some indications. If you find yourself on this path doing these things, it's going to take you to a bad place. You'd be better to change your path. So ask yourself, what are you seeing on your path, the path that the mind follows in its thoughts? And part of the mind will say, well, that's just the way things are. Well, that's the way things are in the mind. Those are the ruts in the mind. Those are the trails in the mind. And you strip the bark from them and anywhere near them. There's nothing left to feed. It's not a good trail to be on. Try the Buddhist trail. Breathe in new ways. Think in new ways. Hold new perceptions in mind. It may seem unnatural, but of course all habits are unnatural, simply that you've gotten used to them. But they're not nature, they're habits, and habits can be changed. If you think in those ways, then you can get on the right path. <laughs>